Where are you going? There's a situation with the Clementons. Oh, a situation at this hour? What good is a protection service if we cannot be there for our clients? Since when has our patriarch ever had to leave to deal with the needs of our clients? I doubt. Uh, I can handle this. I need to leave. Now, I know where you need to go. And William here will go with you. He's already awake and ready, aren't you, William? Yes. Good evening, Patriarch. Ida, this situation that we are in it requires a delicate hand. Oh, I and yet, do. you were planning on taking Horace, no? The man doesn't know the meaning of delicate. William, wait in the car. I understand your responsibilities, and I understand the situation. This is not the first I've seen a blank letter delivered and watched a patriarch go running out into the darkness. You need to trust me on and this side And in turn, you need to trust me. We have a tradition. And what has following tradition ever done for me? This tradition can change. Yes. Yes, it can, but not in one night. If you want to change the rules, Elliot, you start by bending them, not breaking them. You're a good man, Elliot. You're a good leader. I love you, and we all have absolute faith in you. Now run along and save our clan. William, why did I choose you to accompany me? Volunteered, Patriarch. Wanted to prove yourself, then. We're here for negotiations, but these talks can only solve so much. It has been years since blood has been spilled. I am sure one of them has grown anxious. Stay close to me, William. Fathers are prepared, then please take a seat. I'm going to need you to be my eyes and my ears here, son. Stay strong, William. You mustn't falter. Both our lives depend on it. This picture. And now, in the name of peace, we be 
again. in haste to keep peace between the true mothers and fathers of the spirits. I, the third successor of the keep, will be mediator. Let no blood be shed and let brotherhood ring true. Your movement is making me nervous, boy. I'd advise you to hold yourself. Why aren't they moving? Right now they are deciding our fate. They are in a place where only spirit is used for guidance. This is paramount to peace negotiations. So we watch, protect, and pray they come to an understanding that spares lives. Only the weak pray for peace. No, the ones that have seen true violence want peace, girl. No matter how unjust or heinous... Stop! Stop! Please! No more. Forgive me for talking out of place. But this child knows nothing. Watching him, relying only on tradition, not even knowing the meanings of his actions. It infuriates me. We all agreed it would be one from my clan to be chosen as successor, Adler. Enough, Adler. What needs to be done to keep the peace? I thought we were here because the lion didn't have enough and hunger for more. After all, I have lost. Why would I even think? Let me say this to be clear. I did not call for counsel. Who call for our gathering, boy? I cannot say. You cannot or will not. There is a difference. It is against our ways to speak for a clan head. They must say it themselves. Ah. So, who was it? No one? There is no honor with us today, brothers. Not to mention the disrespectful display to the spirits. You need to stop moving about. This is the last time I will repeat myself. Does anyone else hear that? No time to let your mind wander, child. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but your focus should never deviate from your patriarch. Not since the beginning of my father's reign has something like this ever happened. But for once, I agree with the eagle. We should end this. Am I the only one who sees fault in this? Just moments ago, we were called here under the impression that one of us was on the verge of inciting war. And now, we're all just going to turn and walk away. This Amity Keep did the exact opposite of its intended purpose, and many lives were almost lost. Lives weren't lost. I don't deal in hypothesis. You see, that, that simple-minded, straightforward thinking that never considers possibilities. That is why you cannot protect. What did you say to me? Because you, dumb lion, you don't think. I, for one, never want this situation to occur again. There must be consequences for all of our actions. What punishment do you seek? 
Am I the only one who remembers the oath the Keep has to take to mediate over the clans? Mistake this grave requires a punishment of equal value. Death. Adder, wait! Just because he is your son does not change our ways. He took an oath. You both knew the price he would pay if he broke it. You do this, and I will have your head. Do not take another step. This is why the world has gone mad. When people lose to gall to do what is right, keeping people safe. When there are no consequences for traitors, we might as well be killing ourselves. I'm no traitor, sir. There was one. There was a soul called the Gathering. Well, then speak, boy. Who was it? I accept your silence. And besides, you don't want your last words to be lies, hmm? So it shall be. Let the spirits help you find peace. I will not lose another innocent soul trying to keep the peace, Adler. Not tonight. Your false courage is nothing more than cowardice. Fine. Laurel, back down. This shame shall fall on your house. If it pleases you. Not by my hand. This is not by my hand. Mother. <coughs> Patriarch. William. What is this? I am 
so sorry, Adley. I am so sorry. of our clan passes on. It is our family's foreordination for the deceased matriarch or patron to lead the next successor. With me being here, it seems the great spirit has chosen you. Do you know why you're here? I've met with him, my father. And to answer your question, I'm here because I'm the matriarch. That's what you want me to say, right? It isn't what I want you to say. It's what you believe to be true. Show me as the matriarch that you value their lives. I don't know why this is happening. Somebody help us! How dare you look to your clansmen for salvation? You are their protector, their leader, their mother. Failing them. Every bone in my body is telling me to stay. But I keep screaming at myself to run away. You don't run. You turn back. Fear will always dissipate when you face it, Emily. But regret? Birthed by you turning away from who you really are. My pain never fades. 